previously on Outdoor Canuck. I suspect that they do like movies in the summer, like putting the kids to work at a young age, that's great because one day they'll probably own this. So we got a little apple crisp going for the Thanksgiving festivities. It's nippy and crispy. And it's eight degrees, it feels like six. It's a farm. It's a distillery, but it's a restaurant. Okay, we have that stuck in the tree. So this place is called Orchard Home Farm. Farm. Wow. That, what's that, like a 60-footer? <laughs> it's the fall, so you think to would be fishing here? Well, we'll be, we've been fishing and other people are fishing here. Okay, regarding cell signal in this uh, park, we all know that there's Bell and Rogers and then everything in between uh, that's just affiliated to Bell or Rogers is... is separate so we have friends uh, Jen and Jay they're on Bell uh, and their signal is atrocious they can't get anything so if you're Bell Kudo tell us you don't get any signal but if you have Rogers and Fido you get really good signal and you can stream and do all the things yeah what well, she said just louder so, um, yeah so so enough? her voice is like Bell my voice is like Rogers. Yeah, I know you can get good signal up, up here if you're Rogers. We're Rogers, so we were able to stream YouTube and anything like that uh, at times and pull up any websites, uh, make phone calls, no problem. But like I said, if you're Bell, the signal is not the greatest here. Why? Because remember I said that's one of the things we'll talk about uh, cell service in the parks where we go to? Oh. So you're recording, go ahead. We're recording? Yeah, okay. I totally forget what you told me to say. Okay, so another thing to do is you can go to a place called Willibald's Farm and Distillery and Brewery. It's supposed to be like a family fun entertaining thing. So we're gonna go check it out. It's seven minutes away from the park, about seven kilometers. So it's not far. It's like under 10 minutes away from the park. Gingerbread gin. Julie didn't like it. Oh, yeah, it, 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 it tastes gingerbready. It tastes like cinnamon zombies, like cinnamon hearts. <laughs> you didn't get her, but Cam was. She didn't like it, but she finished it anyways. You didn't have to. Fi Red wine. So that's why it you has this pink color, and then it's also. Okay. <laughs> it's it's made in red wine barrels. Sorry, yeah, it's Asian red wine barrels, and then it's sweetened with a bit of honey from our farm. Oh, I like honey. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's really different. You got to remember, that shit. It just hits you. <laughs> this one, um, you gotta remember, you're drinking straight alcohol, so yeah. that's why it tastes up. It's just to get the taste. Yeah. When you put it in something else, it probably tastes different. And we're not gin drinkers. But you're a good vodka. You like vodka? Okay, we just came back <laughs> from Willibald's uh, farm. It's a farm. It's a distillery. But... It's a restaurant. You can't go to those things. The only place you can go to is the restaurant. But you know what? However. Speak up. You can taste some things. Yeah, it's got like little tastings. And uh, you can taste all the, they have gins and seltzers. And what else do they call you them? You can't taste the seltzers, just the gins and the vodka. Oh, the gins and the vodka, that's right. Okay. Yeah, and then they also sell uh, uh, seltzer. Uh, beer. Yeah, seltzer. Yeah. Seltzer, but you can't taste the seltzer. No, they don't sell beer. Oh, yeah, I guess they sell they beer. Sell they sell beer in the restaurant and the, we were in there for like 
15 minutes uh, tasting just a couple things. Um, the, the amount of people that were coming and going just to pick up at the front counter mm -hmm. uh, was it's quite a bit. Busy, yeah. yeah, it looked really busy. So, but the food looks really good. It's got a nice outdoor patio and stuff like that. Um, they say sometimes throughout the year they have special events that do open the farm. Uh, but normally the farm isn't open to the public. But you can see the distillery and you can see the windows and show, it shows you how uh, the whole distillery process works and stuff like that. I don't think they do tours, but it's some, something else you can go to that's right around the corner from the park. It's a good place to go for have a meal. Yeah, yeah, the, the food looked really it's good. supposed to be good, yeah. The menu looked very good. And uh, Willibald's Farm, Distillery, Distillery, and Brewery. All three, but really only one. Oh, it's in a little town called Air. A Y R. Air, Ontario. Air. How do you say it? Air. Okay, so you said just it. like Air. Yeah, just like Air, but instead of an I, there's a Y. y. Cool little town. Town of approximately six thousand people, but growing. So some people take camping very seriously, <laughs> more so than us. They uh, let me zoom in and show you. If you look way over here, those people have a huge tarp this white tarp it looks like a dome <laughs> uh covering their uh i think it's a trailer i can't even see in there it's either a trailer or a giant tent compound but they've got some um on the right hand side on the left hand side there are brown ones that's uh some clams some shelters so yeah they're prepared and they're ready for the rain they're still partying in there regardless good for them Okay, so we're in our trailer because it's raining. Um, it's our last night, so we figured we'd try our, our sample, our recently purchased Willabal coolers. They call them coolers, but this one's the fruit punch. Julie's got the key lime. They're not bad. I want to go back again. But they're close tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we figured we'd take this opportunity to do a, a quick review of the park. We do have one more night, but like I said, it's raining right now. It looks like it's going to be inside for the rest of the night, so we're not going to be able to explore the park. But you know what? We've been here three days. I think we've got a good opportunity to explore the park and see what it's all about. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we're doing um, a new feature here. It was Julie's idea, so give her credit. A new feature where we talk about things that we do outside of the park or things that can be done outside of the park. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be inside the park. It doesn't even have to be camping oriented. Uh, it can be, but it could just be, you know, extracurricular stuff that, you know, you can do with families outside the park. So let's just get our review of the park. I think this is our first time here. It's a conservation area. It's it's not a provincial park, but it's very similar. We I, really I, do conservation. No, but you know what? I mean, I think this, it's got its differences than a provincial park, I, I'll first say, but it's got a lot of similarities. Like, I mean, the whole, if anyone's ever reserved online recently in a provincial park or a conservation area or any kind of campground park, they're all the same website. <laughs> so that's that's very similar. But in general, no, this park is nice. It's We're here in the fall. Um, in the summer, uh, there will probably be more things to do with the beach, although we'll get to the beach. The beach is, is a little small, but expected. There's nice hiking trails we haven't had an opportunity to go on on any of them but we mentioned it in that map we saw when we were down at the the beach uh, there's at least three or four hiking trails that look like decent family trails that that anyone could go on i don't know if you can ride the bikes on the trail it doesn't say biking it just says hiking and and then some of them say snowshoeing mm -hmm. so i'm guessing like if you could bike on it i'm guessing it would say like biking because it yes. says like uses mm -hmm. so what do you think of the park um yeah i really like the park it's very woodsy um you certainly have that like almost like that feel that you're up north and we're not even an hour from home so that's kind of nice it's a close drive and you're just a few minutes outside of some small towns and big amenities which is always a bonus for me 
and you know like on rainy days if there's things you want to see and do you can explore outside the park so and it is a nice park the layout is very nice um for me it's um yeah it's something that i think is it's, good for all ages and families yeah. and couples yeah it's not a big park no no which is and but it's not which a like. but it's not a tiny park either no it's a, it's a good size what do you think like she said, I think it's nice too. I think it's um, it's a different like layout, um, than just the provincial parks. How it's just kind of like copy paste like rows with the ones like this one. It's where we are. It's almost like a circle. Yeah, of, it's like there's crescents. Yeah, of campsites. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's obviously like really secluded ones, but they aren't electric. Um, I also like how it's. Like she said, like we're only like an hour away from home, but it feels so different than mm -hmm. from where we live. Mm -hmm. And then Paris, Ontario is like ten minute drive, and that's a really nice area. Like it's so different. So I like the area. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth because I was going to say that, but in the last thirty seconds, you you mentioned how we are close to the GTA, but away enough. Like I, I feel like we're up north. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because of the country road settings and stuff like that. And I was a little concerned coming up here because we'd never been here before. Driving up here, I was like, oh, like, you know, it's so pretty close it's to so home. Close, What's it going to be like? Yeah. Close to it's Hamilton. We're going, be... we're going camping in Hamilton. Not that they know going camp, camping in It really feels like we're nowhere near home. No, exactly. And w how you mentioned that we're in close proximity to the amenities, like um, Paris and Air exactly. and stuff like that. Um, no, you mentioned too. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the, the rain. rain. <laughs> Coming on the roof. It, yeah, it, it's a little it's breezy, so it's the rain, the water's dropping on the roof. And usually we never hear in this trailer. Maybe because we have the fans on, usually. Maybe. Uh, we turn the fans off for the video. But yeah, it's, it's raining a little bit. But you know what? Once again, it's one of these trips where we expected it to rain probably since last night. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of this trip, we knew we were going to have one night for sure of okay. campfire. And we ended up having two nights, because last night was perfect. A little little chillier than the first night, but fall camping. It was fine. Um, and then today was supposed to be a washout. It didn't start raining till like 3 or 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we got at least half the day. Uh, we were able to go into to uh, air. You saw with the willow yeah, balls. And Paris. and Paris. We even made it to Brantford. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, these are the little things that you can do. And you know what? This is here in in um uh, pinehurst lake but any small town in northern ontario or southern western ontario that you go camping there's always a small town not too far away so keep that in mind but you, you know what's lucky enough it was paris ontario paris mm -hmm. ontario it's very nice <laughs> yes it's, it's like Alora, if you ever yeah. been to Alora, but it's closer Similar. Similar. yeah it's a nice quaint little town paris uh, I've never been to. We, we never I've been, been to. Been here my whole life and never been, been to there. Paris, France before Paris, Ontario. Yeah, that's <laughs> ironic. But it's yeah, nice little quaint town. It's got a lot of little things to do, and it's very old. It looks like it has history. Um, yeah. Like Abby said, going down that these small little towns, they only have one main street usually, mm -hmm. um, like a central area, and you go down that central area, and it did exactly remind me of. Um, uh, um, Alora. Alora. Because of, because of the Grand River. The river yeah, behind the, all of the buildings. The Grand River once again goes through here. So uh, anyways, that's, that, that's not... That's just a little opinion of ours, but it really has nothing to do with the park itself. But um, keep in mind, there's other camping grounds here, too. This is not the only one. No, this is... this is We're in a 100 section. You mean campgrounds? Like, Pinehurst is not the only one where you can camp. There's other ones around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were driving around. Uh, there's other weather private parks and stuff like that, but we're concentrating on on this one yeah. i thought you meant campgrounds with, within options. the park that that there is a, that whole section we showed you there of the seasonal mm -hmm. we still don't know how that works we we should ask a warden when they drive by or when we go to the gate a it looks it looks like they're pulling out a lot of them are pulling out for the season which i get but then i think they say the park's closing tomorrow uh, at the end of the long weekend thanksgiving which a lot of even ontario parks do so i'm not sure if it's that that's a a thing that 
uh, this park is doing. I think it is. But anyways, that's our review. Uh, what about the um, park amenities? Like, okay. Speaking of of the showers, we we got Quentin with us, and and Quentin is a good gauge of uh, public comfort or comfort station <laughs> showers. No, because last time he did when we were at Balsam Lake, and remember you were saying how it was. You might want to come forward a little bit more. Remember you were saying yeah. how <laughs> the pressure was like strong. Yeah. Well, strong. buddy, I mean I wasn't in the shower with you. So I believe it was strong, but I guarantee you that shower that I had this morning in this park was probably stronger. It was like it, like painful. It was painful. It was painful at the beginning. I don't know why these parks. Maybe because they're old parks. Maybe they ha can't regulate the pressure, mm -hmm. but it was strong. Good, nice and hot, and it'll like clean you really good. <laughs> Take all the dirt off you if you're dirty. Maybe but, that's the point. But yeah, maybe that's the point. But it's strong. So keep that in mind. Not all the showers are strong because when we first got here, we toured around with the kids. Uh, we looked into one shower and I think I, I, I did a quick video of that. And I pressed a button on one of them and the pressure was normal. But the one I used this morning was super, super strong. Yeah, so yesterday I was actually making a decision if I wanted to use the public shower or if I was just going to wait till tomorrow and use our shower. And I'm very lucky that <laughs> I didn't use their showers. We, you're lucky we have that option. Yeah. 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 With the with the uh, full water hook up here is, is good. And I think that's, I mean, there's, by the looks of it here in the park, getting back to the amenities in the park, it looks like it's either um, electric and water or nothing. I could be wrong. Um, I should know how many actually, oh, you know. No. You didn't count? How many sites? I did. You counted? 220. Area 1 and Area 2 has 73 no, sites. it's so. 220 in all the areas. In, total? in all areas. There you go. Wealth of knowledge, these two. I used my calculator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, I was going to say, I'm sure on the website it probably tells you how many uh, campsites are. But if we're wrong... Approximately. Yes. If we're wrong, we'll put it down here below. Yeah. So, so while we got everyone here... Um, the, the new rating system we're going to do, or a little different, because like we can do 1 to 10, and, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But let's have a rating system, and we can all have different of, of opinions. We don't have to have the same, because what you may like, she may not like, and vice versa, right? So the rating we're going to use is if we would ever come back here, or if we wouldn't come back here. So basically, 1 and done, or we'd come back. So start with you. Well, yeah, I would actually, I would like to come back here. It's a pretty nice place. Okay. Okay. You come back? Yeah, there's stuff you'd want to do in the summer and stuff like that, maybe? Try? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's a beach here, and it's very small, and uh, uh, spring is coming to an end, so it's starting to get pretty cold. So we didn't have a time to go into the beach. What What do you think? One and done, uh, or you'd come back? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think I would, but not in the summer, because the beach sucks. Um, yeah, she well, tell us how you really feel. You're going on appearance. You it's really. Um, what do you mean appearance? Well, what else would a beach be rated on? Well, you if you tried it and went into water and the water was beautiful and sunny and 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 you were able to use the whole beach and it wasn't too busy. Like you didn't get to do any of that. All oh, you're okay, you're going on strictly the appearance. Sucks. Okay. Yeah. So I want to come here in the summer, maybe the spring, but like I wouldn't, I'd be fine if we never came back here, in okay. my opinion. Okay. It's a nice park, but I don't care. And that's fine. This but I'd is, also be fine if we did come back. This is what I want. I want to have this opinion from uh, uh, a tween, is that what you're called? Is that what they call them now? You're a tween. A tween. A teenager <laughs> and, and adults and, and a difference of opinion is, is good. So... Anyone watching at home can get an opinion from all of us. Just go. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I would come back. Um, I'd prefer to come back in the spring or summer because I don't feel like this is a summer park for me anyway. The spring um, or fall or summer? Uh, sorry, spring or fall, not summer. I don't really want to come in the summer because I feel like this is not the type of park I want to hang out in the summer, just my opinion. Um, however... Uh, they had like a concession area and Wa like washing by rentals. the beach that actually is very nice. It looks very nice. So I kind of would want to see what that's like in the summer. But the beach seems really small with it being day use. 
I'd be concerned about it being overpacked. And like I said, the size of the swimming area too is really small for something that's open for camping and for day use. So that would be my concern with summer. Yeah, uh, I agree with that boat thing. Were you talking about the boats? Because people uh, were on the lake. Are, the rental? Yeah, the rental, rental boats. Yeah. And that would be pretty nice to go in the yeah. summertime on the water. Or I don't you... know, maybe once I might come in the summer, but I'd prefer to come in the spring or fall myself. Okay. So I would come back. Okay. I agree with all you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think this park, um, because we came in the fall, well, because I came in the fall, I know we came, but I'm speaking for myself here. I came in the fall. I would like to, to in my opinion, to give a park... Uh, a true rating, you'd have to come in the summer and say, yeah, I agree with you, which, and this is why I agreed with all you. I agree with you with, with, with the beach being small. I agree with you that it, it may not be good for swimming. Uh, I agree I with... It's swimming. I just said in general. In general. Mm -hmm. The okay. sands. The sand. Yeah, it could. It could. <laughs> but at the same time, until we try it, uh, I don't think we could get a, a good gauge. So yeah, I'd come back. Uh, I'd come back in fall. But I especially want to come back in the summer. Hmm. Yeah. And um, that kind of stuff. So let's wrap it up because I know it's been been going on long. This was totally unscripted. We don't have, maybe next year you'll see us with a little list of pros and cons and things to say. Yeah, so, more yeah. Not so, like, so, so we're not in tangents mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But that's it here for Pinehurst Lake Provincial. No, I almost said Provincial. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinehurst mm -hmm. Lake Conservation Area. Um, or a park, campground, whatever you want to call it. Um, we will, this will be our last video for the year because next year, 2024, because next year we're going to start really early. I know last video I said we were uh, trying to book something for winter camping in, um, in Arrowhead. We were able, we were successful. We won the lottery. I don't know how. We were able to uh, <laughs> book something. That. Yeah. <laughs> it, it feels like winning the lottery when you book a, a campsite at 7 a.m. in the morning. So we were able to book a, a, ca a camp, not a, uh, cabin. a cabin, for Arrowhead in the winter in, in February. So that's when we're going <laughs> to kick off our season. I might not see Abby there. Um, <laughs> you know, not see Abby there. But, um, and then we are in the midst of planning our trip to... Lake Superior and Lake Michigan, the makeup trip. Again. Again. Um, <laughs> so it should be easier to plan at this time, but believe it or not, it actually isn't. It's, it's actually just as, just as difficult and uh, enough uh, logistics and stuff like that. So without any, any more delays, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping uh, in tune with us this season. As uh, short as it was, we're going to try to get out, obviously, more next season, and we're going to bring these kind of one-or-done ratings or we'd go back we'll try to do uh, all the videos or all the camping videos we do next time next year with the surrounding areas and attractions that we can do in in around the area where, where we're camping until then guys you want to say bye okay bye bye we'll see you next year Feels like I've known you my whole life. so we got home unpacked and then i said you know what we're not going camping again so while the trailer's here at the house I'll just take all the bedding off, all the cushions like we normally do, all the mattresses. And you know what? We're not coming back. We're not going camping again. So while it's here, might as well do it. So now when I winterize, more than half of the work that I would normally have to do on my own is done. So now all I, all I have to do is pump in the antifreeze. We don't got to stay friends forever. But we can cross that line together. Find love baby, never say never. After all this time. Stay friends forever